Oh, wow. I know what you're asking yourself, punk. Did he put six layers of padding in this chair? Or did he just put in five? Seeing as how this is an Arrow T-50 staple gun, the most powerful staple gun you can buy for $32.50, and can put a staple clear through four inches of foam, you gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? I know you. You're that upholsterer pig. Dirty horse Harry. Hi, I'm Joe Lorario. And I'm Ann Landers. <laughs> we got a lot of letters about this couch. Welcome to Furniture to Go. Well, last time, remember, we removed all the ugly vinyl, the vinyl from our beautiful Aristocraft sofa. And we made some adjustments, and we did some padding, and we started on the fabric. So, you know what's coming next? Mm. We have the finished covering. Not only that, we have to make or have someone make I don't have cushions. To. And maybe if we have some time left over, we can make a couple of anti-macassars. Mm, nothing Not too. too. Maybe some Uncle Macassars, too. And guess what? We're going to have to sit at the sewing machine. Nah. Well, you don't have a manicure. Mm. Well, they don't pay me enough. Uh-huh. You just spend it too fast. That's what it is. Why don't we begin? Okay. Look, grouper face. What is that, a big T-bone? I fed my goat too much asparagus, and this is what happened. My Aunt Mickey used to have a, a refrigerator the same color, mm -hmm. avocado, mm -hmm. 60s. And 20 years from now, we're going to say, why was Tim Allen popular? It, there's just mysteries. So this is the green chair. The green chair. That you're working Didn't on. Didn't Faulkner write that? <laughs> green chair. Um, the chaise verde. This is from my chair? Yes, it's, how is it coming? You know, there? I thought there was a missing piece there. The interchangeability of the Haywood Wakefield pieces allow us to use the same patterns for our sofa as for our chair. So they were taking shortcuts is what you were saying. No, it was just modern uh, thing uh, and watching sure. the bottom line and modern. Eisenhower. Everybody's and looking for an easy way of out is what it is. Business That's and what economics all and all kinds of people sleeping in the streets. Now what's under here? That's a, the rest of the chair, Did darling. you tell the people that the frame was made of maple? Maybe, but you just did, so okay. I don't, didn't have it's to. It's maple. Very we're, hard. We're laying this out and we're tracing. And I traced with a crayon or crown. A crown. A crown. South Philadelphia, it's a crown. It's Got a any crown. crowns? <laughs> and now I snoop. Shoot you with a billet. I'm going to shoot you with my dad's gun. Broke some eggs. <laughs> Looks nice. Looks nice. While Joe works on his project, I'm going to be doing some stitching at the machine. We cut out our inside arm panels, pin them together, and now I'm going to stitch them together. Now look, anybody can work on a sewing machine. It's not an effeminate thing to do. Guys, girls, men, women, anybody can do it, okay? Don't be prejudiced, all right? All right, let's begin. I've lined up my seam here, and I'm going to drop the foot and stitch nice and slowly so as not to hurt the fabric or myself. Now you can stitch right over these needles that have pinned them together. You can stop any time. Just bring that needle down when into the fabric when you stop. Okay, I'm checking my stitching. It's going good. I have to pull out my thread every so often. Make sure the needle is back down in. When you begin again, now I'm gonna come up on the curve. I'm just gonna work my curve around there. I can stop again, check my, my stitch. It's going fine. Everything's fine. Keep that stitch in line with the edge of the thread. Uh, sometimes I need to cut off an extra piece like that. Everything's fine. Make sure the needle's down in. Actually, I feel rather bush when I do this. And I get up right to the end. I pull that needle up. If I need to finish off, I can even do it by hand. Then I pull this up, and I can snip off. Of course I can snip off. I pull this up like that. 
pull it away, and there is my stitch. I'll pull out the needles, and you'll see that everything's going to be fine. I'll just show you that seam. Look at that seam right there. Look at that. Look at that. It's pretty good, huh? Acetone is a chemical. Who's so. going to give us money? DuPont? He could if we would not. If you would wrestle with him. If I would wrestle would with you, DuPont. You look like Humpty Dumpty there. <laughs> you? Uh, oh, look. A Knedelach. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the seam we just stitched from the inside. Turn it over, and this is how it's going to look when you look at the inside elbow of the arm. And that's where I'm applying it right now to this inside elbow. <laughs> that's why there needs to be a stitch there. You allergic? Now, you got of me course, right in the nose hair. I've, uh, I also did a stitch up at the front, or somebody did, and now I'm going to uh, put that over. Just like a little cap. Over where your hand grips it while you say, mm, Baywatch, I love it. We pull this back. This is going to break right where the frame breaks. That's how you know. And this is the inside arm. Uh -huh. And now we'll begin to pull this down so it fits just lovely and nice. The first thing, of course, we fit is the front. Make sure this seam is straight and tight. Now, of course, I can pull this back because this is all going to be hidden. And I put a staple with my friendly pneumatic named, right, named GNU. GNU. It's a GNU-matic with a G. GNU. Gingrich. Now I'm anchored. Now I'll pull this here and maybe give another one right here. That would be a good idea. And now I'll turn it over that stuff. and begin to work it down so that it is tight. Now do you have padding in here? Oh, you I do. Don't, yeah, I have Let's padding see. in here, so, okay. only up to here. But remember, this is going to go against the I know, the bench. I know. I just wanted to s them to see the padding there. And I don't even need to cut this long enough to pull under, because this is all going to be hidden, hidden by the end of the bench. Of course, the, the, bench. Bench. the bench. The bench. The bench. Pull this straight. Pull this down. Give it a zets. Oh. Right in there. You got to work this thing. You got to work it. Now I'll pull this over here. Now remember, the outside arm is going to lap over this. Can you make a little pleat there? Of course you can. Who in the heck is going to get up under there and say, you know, Mildred, what, did you watch those two yutz balls? You think they're straight? I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Keep pulling it down. Wrinkles here, no matter, because when we pull this tight and we pull this tight, it's all going to come out. Just like they do to Joan Collins. <laughs> Joe, I gotta get some stives. You're, tired you're not of this. working on that chair. We have um, to have it done by the end of the show. I gotta get other materials. I'm sorry. Sometimes. All right, now I just need to keep working this back and forth. Thank God for the extended nose of the staple gun because that allows me to get in really, really tight. If you had one of those flat guys, you couldn't get in there. Work it around, pulling it tight to the back. Wrong model. Just keep working it. It's getting tight. We'll get it there. Hey, the inside arm is fitted. Don't you love it when I say, hey? It's like, I know you. Who are you? Uh, and now I'll do the outside arm. I've already applied a cardboard tack strip under this part, but now I'm going to apply it under that part. And I flip this up like this. I make sure that my batting is here. And then I get my cardboard, and I measure it. Look once, measure never, and then do it again if it screws up. That's on the side of our coffee cup, Norm. <laughs> we pull this tight. Now, in order to anchor it up in the corner, I'm never going to get my needle nose or my extended nose in there. I might have to put a tack. Look, I have a tack and my That nose here. is so sharp, you can, you can cut wood with it. I'll put this up in here, and I'll just put one tack in there to anchor that. 
Oh, I ain't getting nowhere fast over here. How you doing with your uh, uh, with I'm your chair you. project? You haven't let me see it at I'm all. Disappointed. Come on over here and watch me do my magic. I'll get this and I'll put a tack right in the middle, right up at the top. But you didn't get the. Sh uh, it Oh, there there you go. Go. Now, since I, I might have to angle this a little bit, of that there is no doubt. I'll put this over here. <laughs> oh. And then I'll put that over there. Oh. And then I'll drop it down to make sure it looks nice. And it does. Always a bit of a surprise to me. All you got to do is get off these little dust bumps here. Dandruff. It all comes out in the wash because we dip the whole thing in, in, love that in Fells naphtha. And There's a plug. They don't even make that anymore. Uh, the Fells Planetarium. Well, my, my junior high school was named Fells. Fells? Yes. Norman Fells. The halls were a wash and detergent. I, I hate upholstery. I've been going so crazy over there, I'm telling you. I'm going to just bang my little nail that I started with bang over you. there. Looks beautiful. Good. And then when I do my metal tack strip down the side. Not it's as good as mine. Good. Really? Are you yeah. sure? Why don't you go and finish? <laughs> the show's almost over. I've got my s so he slams the door. All right, now I'll bring this down. Hmm. I'll pull this down and I'll put staples underneath. I'll lift this up now. Put a staple so it will hop. Remember, this part goes against the sofa, so it can be as messy as we like. Keep sighting this down, and I want this seam to be straight, so I'll work this to the side and this to the side, so eventually I'll get a nice straight seam. Fold that over. We'll do that last. Now, I'm just going to anchor it here. I'm going to pull this out later. Why? Because we're going to lift this up so we can catch the screws that attach this to the carcass of the sofa. I'll keep watching, and you keep drinking. Word Now, Demetrius and the Gladiators. It's too much. But hey. Jay Robinson is in that, right? Oh, hi. Caligula. Hi, we're about to put on the dernier arm, the last arm. Oh. And uh, of course they screw on. We've left this flap open because some screws go in from the front. But the first screws we'll put in come from the inside of the back through here. I'm and gonna, you're going to just feel underneath there, right? I, because and you can line it up. The Because this, this curve goes all the way under the sofa. Wait a minute. And you can line up the outside arm with the actual frame construction. Yeah. Okay. So now you got it. I'm, Is that it? I think I'm ready, doctor. Feels, seems like it should be a little lower. Not right about there. Wait a minute. Yeah, there, there, there. Got it? You got yeah. it? Yeah. Got yeah. it? Huh? Oh, who gives an RA? Move, move your finger. Move your finger. I've got to screw this in. Push all your weight against it. Mm. All your... There we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, we pulled it right in. Now I'll put the one down here. The second screw. Which was written by Hemingway. Give me that, because I'm going to put a go. screw down here. We'll finish putting the screws in, then we'll pull this underneath and tack it all in. It'll be amazing. Yep. Amazing. Right there. I'm going to put in a screw. There you go. <laughs> Fabulous. Now I'll put one in there. Turn of the screw. Last fabric panel is the outside back. Before we put the outside back on, we do two things. One, cover with burlap. Which so we did already. Define the shape and now pad it. Our with the, ca the uh, cotton, cotton, batting. cotton batting. And this is the original stuff, right? Yeah. We don't have to tack this in a lot. We just have to generally tack every couple of inches or so. It's stretched out. We'll cut that end just, off. Yeah, you can just tear this off. Up, go up there a little higher. Keep going. Run it up higher. There you go. Make sure it's straight. Make sure it's straight. Most of these outside backs don't have padding like this. Pull it down. I don't know why this one does. Because it'll feel nice when you're laying against it from the back. When your back is on it, if you're watching TV from the other side of the room, it'll feel much better. Believe me. You'll take my word for it. Honest. I'm telling you the truth. 
<gasps> For the obtuse amongst you, here's the outside back laid over the inside back. We're attaching the material with a cardboard tack strip. This is what it looks like. Look, Albanian slinkies. We have no metal. Do you have my uh, cardboard uh, tack uh, strip uh, already? Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. This, ki uh, this is Joe's uh, pancreas. Uh, uh, <laughs> You've been eating garbanzos again? Here, hold that for me, will you, son? Give me a biscuit. Snuffles the dog. Put one in the middle. And a baba buoy to you all. <laughs> to, to define the shape. Who's there? Nah, it's just a pair of goggles fell. And we just start going along the top. Here there we, we go. go. There, there we, we go. go. Three. There we go. Count along with us. Four. Five. Five. Six. After we do this, we'll do the metal tack strips down the sides, as everybody knows. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That baby's got new clothes. I saw him in concert. Hot Try voice. as he might to ruin his songs, he can't. They're too good. Who? Dylan. Oh. Tries to ruin his songs, but they're too good. Well, he ruins them when he sings them. Blam. Douche. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the end of the outside back with the aluminum tack strip. We've never seen this before. Never, never before seen anywhere in the world. You are right, sir. <laughs> we pull this through. We spike it through. We pull it tightly. Watch the fingers. Of course Watch I will. Watch the fingers. I'm warning you. Mm -hmm. We'll wind it around and bang it into the edge of this frame here. And then we'll have our sofa almost done. Now you got to wind it and bang it. I wind, I there tuck, we go. and I bang. There you go. I, there you go. Perfect. The glancing blows. Let's see. It looks nice. Concentrate up here. Yuri Geller couldn't done as well. What a phony son of a Israeli. I will bend, I will bend this fork. Uh, and then I'll do it with the side. Now he's working at McDonald's in Israel. Now the final step for any upholstery project is to put on the cane brick. Or the dust cover. <laughs> Lenny Reif installs filming this segment today. And I just have to pull this tight. No, no, let me pull this tight. Will you stop? Will you stop? Will you get out of here? You're bothering me. Yeah. Go away. I don't want you here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Merry Christmas. So all I'm going to do is pull this tight, and then I'll just work around the other side. Of course, what I also have to do is work these corners that go around these legs, and I'll do that by cutting, little, making little ticks on both sides, and pull this thing around so it laps like that. And in this way, we get nice, even dust cover coverage. <laughs> I'm pretending it's, it's Gina Davis. Oh, look, it's all finished. It's a Haywood Wakefield modern two tone with class. Not as hard as we thought because of its modularity. Let's see the before and the after. Ooh, I love it. It will be mine. Let's finally see what Joe has accomplished with his Haywood Wakefield chair. It's finished. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You want to share with this with the whole class? What are you talking about? I call it the Relaxomatic. <laughs> Patent pending. <laughs> I got my cues from Right Veld. That would make this a wrong film. Well, I put it? in the fly swatter and the fruit dispenser, see, in case you're hungry. <laughs> Very good. And then later, too much fruit. Yeah. Well, you can use it over again. <sighs> well, now uh, let's take a look at the before. And you can already see the after. Mm, you know what? What? We got to return these things. Oh, no. Mine looks okay. I'm warning you, I'm taking this home. Uh, well, you know, we might have to do some explaining. Let's go, however, and swallow our medicine at the Chestnut Hill Antique Mart. All right, but I don't like it.
What, are you tired from the carnival? Wake uh, up! Oh, no, I'm tired. Come on! Uh, uh, Come on! Uh, we gotta move it! Uh, 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 with the tilt-a-whirl got him! Uh, oh, the tilt-a-whirl. Oh, there goes the lunch. Now, aren't you glad we stopped at that carnival? Yeah, all I got is this stupid bloom. Well, we ate the cotton candy. Hey, it's the two geniuses. <laughs> hey, Joe and Con. Ed, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Come on, man. Not too sarcastic, huh? <laughs> how you doing, Con? Good, Constance good. Constance Long, our pal. Mm -hmm. Here, I got your balloon. Oh, thank who you. Who is now a vendor at the, uh, what's it called? This is the Antique Center at Chestnut Hill in Philadelphia. And how does a place like this work, anyway? It's just great. It's a big, big space with a lot of different vendors. Nice light, too. Yeah. There's something for everybody here. Yeah, you got right. little knickknacks, you got antique pieces, you got uh, canisters. So I this saw is, a nice pair of canisters. And this is your space? This is my space. I share it with my uh, partner, Tess Trumper. Well, what do you think of the project? Very nice, very nice. Think I it'll love sell it. Here? I, well, my clientele's a little different. Mm. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to wind up at the flea market in New York. In right? New York. Oh, the yes. big apple, where the big bucks are. That's right. Lots of people, lots of New Yorkers love modern furniture. Black well, clothes and uh, well, modern furniture. They'll fit mm -hmm. there. The black mm -hmm. and the gray, I think the nice two-tone effect is great. Yep. So what we're learning here is you've got to know your clientele up in Chestnut Hill. Primitives, your mission, mission moves, yes. and you take it to the, the stylish people. Diane Keaton goes up there. She'll I've seen love her. this. her, Richard Belzer. Bells, the bells, the bells. The bells. The bells. Yes. will buy this. He should come on the show. He's sure. a big star now, though. Yeah, he wears all black. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's have a drink let's to celebrate. celebrate a job well done. Uh, sounds good, but I do remember a chair, Joe. Let's 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 have oh, a nice big drink. That was Joe's special <laughs> project. It needs a blind stitch like this no. much. In all honesty, it 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 just needs a little touch up on here. one of the feet. Oh, okay. come here! I got all a right. I got all a right. flask of absinthe in my back. Here we go. Salute. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Blaze Pascal. And I'm Ed Norton. <laughs> That's exactly what I've been looking for. And be nice to your furniture. Grab the kids and hide the paint rollers. They're on the loose. Joe and Ed have escaped the studio to go out on the road and prove that if they can do it, anyone can. How-to advice from men in tool belts, next on TLC.